Hello and welcome to the Craft Man Show. My name is your host, the Craft Man. Today we're going to talk about how you can print your own Lego minifigure heads on your home laser jet printer. Oh snap, that's cool. In previous episodes, I have shown y'all how that you can transfer printed images onto wood, onto stone, onto plastic, onto metal. Pretty much anything that you can do this uh, with permission. To me, a label release paper is the easiest thing that I have ever used. But in the past, I have used tracing paper, parchment paper, specialty transfer paper. You can even use regular paper, but you got to rub it off after it dries. All right, that's a little more tedious. And if you print text or some kind of design, anything you print, print at 180. Flip it. All right, flip it horizontally. Flip it like that. Here's all some uh, little faces that I had did. All right, and I just printed me out a bunch of them. And I did this and I thought, you know, it might be easier uh, a long way like that because I think these might be easier to apply. We're going to find out. Lego face is going to be a little more difficult because they tiny and you got to align things just right. I just read me up a little, uh, little head holder thing so that way you can put the uh, head on like that right there. You know. And this just gives you something to hang on to. But that did not work. Now sometimes, depending on how much uh, how much gel medium, transfer medium you use, you may have some little excess right there. And so I just take me and uh, you know, you can kind of just come around here and just scrape that away. And just like that right there. If I had it to do over again, I would design this so that it's spaced out to where that lines up. You see what I'm saying? And then you could do five of them, ten of them at a time. But uh, that don't exactly line up because by the time it gets down to here, see? It don't 100% line up. But y'all know what I'm saying? I could probably have made my template better to where you can do... Let me just do that.
But the toner comes off real easily, all right? So I'm just dabbing motions up and down. I'm using these little marks in between there. See that, see that, see that? To try and line up these hairs best that I can. Now we're going to let that dry. So now all you got to do is to take and hard a little thick place like that. Just very gently come in there and just get them get them out of the way if you was unrolling this let's say the whole face was stuck to the paper all you got to do don't panic keep everything still hinged on here and just dab you some little bit back on it and then close it back and give it one more chance all right or maybe two more chances have it long and then uh you should be good to go and there we go. So I took these out to the front parts and did some little spray. Got me a little clear coat on them to help protect the little faces. You know, when you're putting the little helmets on and off like that, you know. Like that. And feel free to use your own preferential uh, spray sealer. Here goes your quick tip. If the heads on there too smug, it may be more difficult to animate your character. So you can take and just kind of go around. And that'll make your animations on your, uh, your head's animations a lot more smoother. Now we got a little character and some mouth shapes right there. I think we can make the little man talk. That's cool. I've been blessed to be able to make friendships with uh, people and industries and things like that who is just out there really doing it, inspiring people. One man I became friends with is a man named Penn. He has tapped into the cuteness uh, style formula and he has had influence on a lot, so a lot of people. The way he does the little eyes and face and the little mouth and things. And that inspired me to try a little series of minifigs, Lego characters like this right here. Look at this. Just to give you a little more of the possibilities, you know, that you ain't got to use this for animation. You could just be making your own little uh, pen style characters. You know, have you some little adventure times with these little Lego men and things like that. I hope y'all like that. What you might want to do is to use a classic Lego head, for example and erase the mouth and just put just put the mouth shape and that way the eyes always in the center let's say that you don't get your uh, your face is a little bit off between each one of these well that ain't a big deal for the mouth but you don't want your eyes to kind of be riding up and down you know what i'm saying when you're doing this thing you ain't got to get crazy with it if you ever watch sesame street then you know all you need is two mouth shapes open and close like that right there. I hope y'all enjoyed that, and I hope that you have been inspired to, uh, Make your own 
Lego faces and things like that. Just have fun with it. I love y'all and keep steady crab.